right. Okay, so I'm back, and I'm going to go over uh, something I went through and a mistake I made getting all paranoid about all these uh, botnets and rootkits and all that other shit. That, um, although I, I will say that it's probably not a good idea to ins uh, to use the MediaWiki uh, uh, repository list. I still have some questions about it, but I've been able to pretty much work out. There was just one major coincidence that really had my eyes, eyebrow, eyebrows up, but I think uh, <laughs> my eyebrows were raised, but I think it was just a fluke. Um, in one of these videos, I used the term snake oil just to say that, you know, sometimes people, uh, when there's a difference in culture between, the, you know, the Windows and the Unix people and experience, uh, to the Windows user that comes into Linux and find things don't work the way they expect it, they think the person that has um, said that Linux is the best thing ever invented thinks that they're really, they really uh, have amounted to a snake oil salesman. And I found uh, <coughs> there's actually a certificate <coughs> in Xotera SSL called snake oil. And I found a bunch of certificates in my um, etc. SSL directory that I don't remember going to the websites for, and I and I haven't. And I guess they ship with Ubuntu, uh, AOL, Time Warner, etc. etc. So I thought that for some reason I my computer was being used as a web server to give out faked uh, certificates as a part of this whole botnet strategy, and um, I wasn't very happy about that idea, and I was ready to format my uh, other setup I have and I started to migrate all my stuff over to the second Ubuntu install but it turns out that wasn't the case and part of this whole mystery uh, that ends up was was also just uh, benign was I, I looked and I saw that my uh, even though I hadn't been here to run the, the the SU command to log in as root, and I hadn't been here to switch from GDM uh, going as root or maybe or, or, or KDE and, and, and back. Overnight, I saw that I had multiple entries in my authorization log from from the log starting at 7:39 till when I came in at around 10:55 is the last entry in there when I got out. As soon as I noticed it, and I, I didn't know what the hell that was. And some of them, they were all they all said cron on there, but I thought, well, maybe if it's compromised, they'd hide their <laughs> authorizations in under cron. Who knows, right? So um, let's make it look like it isn't a problem. And um, turns out that uh, I was able to verify. I hadn't. I've just set this this uh, Ubuntu up, and I hadn't used it at all. I just set it up and got out. So unless I got rooted with the same exact, uh, and I doubt it, um, the thing that supposedly was uh, had me uh, rooted on the other side uh, when when I went in here, just in the time of setting the thing up with it downloading the updates at 130 kilobytes a second, I, I don't see how it could happen. But then the, you know, so anyway, I was able to verify that at least on this one that there's a cron tab. Etc. cron tab entry that at, at 17 minutes after the hour every hour it's going to run a certain script and so I and I saw another post in Ubuntu form. I soon realized that all these PAM sessions that I have here with cron were just cron jobs and they all, all they only did none of them lasted over a second session open session closed I mean almost the exact same second it is the exact same. None of them lasted over a second. So I was alarmed at first. Now, one problem I did have when I did put the uh, MediaWiki repository inside of my um, uh, I installed it from the Ubuntu Software Center. I, I guess some mistake. I, you know, I didn't know what I was doing. I just started installing everything, and I didn't need that to, to uh, upload my videos to to YouTube and GForge is basically uh, a software program that's made uh, with the purpose of um, making it very easy for a user to set up their own web server with FTP services, a, uh, a, um, 
forum, you know, with a patch in the back end, PHP. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a product. It looks like it looks like it's a pretty good project. And I, I was almost to the conclusion that 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 the project had been subverted and rooted at one point, and I even saw an alarming post dated from April '09, where some guy s said one of the files had been detected as some kind of Trojan or something or other, but they came to the conclusion that it wasn't because all the other f they, they tested with multiple other um, antivirus programs and they didn't find a signature for it. I thought well, maybe they, they concluded it was a false positive, but I, I I don't take that as final rested assurance. And I I did notice that when I tried to install the uh, GForge Media Wiki package for my Ubuntu, it wouldn't in, uninstall and it would break my package system. And the only way I can get my pack system, package system to work was to install the missing parts of GForge and they had a user GForge. And I don't remember ever creating a user GForge. Uh, but it wanted a user GForge, and the config configure command wasn't working, and that, that's how the apt would leave it after I do an install, and your package system broken if I ever try to get rid of any of the parts, so I had to keep having to come and back. sound like it was the kind of situation that a black hat would just love to run into, a guy running his desktop with an open anonymous FTP server and bulletin board just waiting for someone to come by, scan, and take advantage of. And I, I and believe me, it's not really uh, what I want <laughs> at all. So I got out of there right away and, and, and tried to investigate into it. I, I'm, I'm still not sure I still haven't, if I, I've come to the conclusion that the, the GForge package, at least where it's being pulled down from at the MediaWiki repository, I, 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 I can't tell you whether that's uh, Trojan or not. Um, I, I have no programming ability to figure this out, but I just found some very ancillary, alarming pieces of evidence that could be just coincidental. Uh, just in part due to the number of bots that are out there. But, um, you know, I saw these different commands being run as a result of these cron tabs, like, uh, and, and also GForge will run a mailing list for you. You know, so make a perfect spam house, perfect place to to FTP or Juarez and all this other shit, so it's not something that I, I was going to play with uh, uh, lightly. And I noticed that um, somewhere in here, GForge gave its its uh, the user nobody root access, so I wasn't too happy about that. And I had secure socket layer and part of the whole thing, and just <coughs> you know, I mean, I, nothing I want. And I, it created, it had root access, and I knew it had root access because it created a user named FTP and it gave a home directory, home FTP. I, there, was a, there was a subdirectory in, in my other uh, installation here. It's uh, my other partition. Let's go here, a home FTP. In there is this welcome message. God knows what. Uh, this is an experimental FTP server. Welcome archive user. Archive of what? Why would the MediaWiki project assume that, that you know there's archives there? I didn't see anything in that directory. Um, probably never had a change. Between all the the uploading of the videos I had and the low bandwidth controls, I doubt they. If it was planned that way, they'd have any chance. But I didn't see any remote login. Uh, things in, in, in the authorization log, but I also note the authorization log was closed at start at 7:39 in the morning. I've had this, I've had that installed for longer than that, but it also could be because, uh, in fact, I'll just look in there right now. <laughs> yeah, see, so here's another off wall, I mean, authorization log. I mean, God, look at all this from the 19th all the way. You know, some of these things are just, um, all these sessions, you know, so I, I just can't really, 
I, I couldn't be comfortable that something hadn't gone wrong on this, and so I, I'm not going to keep my com I'm not going to keep my computer on the net unless I could, or keep the same installation unless I know that this hasn't been. Um, and th this is just really odd. Like we have here, seven thirty-seven successful pseudo for GeForge by root. <coughs> I, 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 you know, so I'm, I'm just not too convinced that that whole thing was, was sitting, was, was doing the thing I wanted. And although there was, even in the, the Debian project had dealt with the same exact error at one point uh, that I had using uh, dpackage, and I wonder if I could find that. Um, you know, and I, I don't know what's going on with the mail log. Well, it's empty. Um, messages. Ah, it's just today. I mean, here's here's something at uh, eleven. We have a user share GDM guest session X DH client login manner. You know, I don't know. There's just a lot of weird things going on back here. So I'm not really. You know, and and then my graphical um, interface started leaving log errors, so I, I I just don't really I still don't <laughs> anyway. Um, so I, I'm not even going to use that. I I pulled everything off, and I'm going to. Format it, put something else on there, and um, if my mistake has been to try to help people. Well, that's just too bad because I'm still going to be around. And I'm not going to be dumb enough to install a GeForge in there. But there's all, I mean, just, look, I mean, it looked like it was. <laughs> Configuration files for FTP, anonymous, you know, names for FTP, pro FTP, post fix, and you know, but I'm not going to risk that. So I've gone over what look what are fault fa what could be false alarms, but I've also gone over what could really be a problem. And I'm in a network that's um, has a firewall and has NAT in place, but if for whatever reason uh, the, the GeForge program is somehow trojaned and it's programmed to signal out that some other something or other kind of thing has happened and uh, who knows maybe they can hook it hook onto it and come back in and log in that way I, I just don't know so um, I'm gonna try to find that um, package that wouldn't uninstall in my other uh, system and um, that'll be it for that and hopefully if there's anything wrong with this or if it's a false alarm I'll, I'll update everybody but um, there's just a few things that just when you add them together it, it's a little troublesome and even in my new setup I, I'm just wondering so that'll be it for now